Hello and welcome back. Uh, so far we have uh, downloaded the Apple Tech, which is the uh, Mac Tech distribution for uh, uh, Windows and um, the Tech Maker and we have successfully installed both of them. And in fact, we have even configured the Tech Maker, but other than that, we have not um, done anything in the Tech Maker. And this lecture is all about exploring the uh, different uh, components in the Tech Maker. So without a further ado, let's get started. Uh, this is the main ribbon. Uh, it starts with file, edit tools, and this is almost uh, very uh, common uh, if you see in any word processing software and probably could see file, edit, uh, menu. And uh, in addition to that, we have got tools. Uh, LaTeX is the uh, main important thing in the ribbon, then math environment, then wizard, and bibliography, user, view, options, and help. And uh, initial lectures is all about uh, configuration. So we only use this particular ribbon, I mean the menu uh, called options. And then we have done a configuration. And uh, in this lecture, we'll see from the beginning. So the initial, uh, the fi first uh, menu is the file menu. Underneath file menu, we have new. So new is to create a new file and open. Open is to create. Uh, I mean, open is to open the existing file and sessions, then save, save as, save all, save a copy. And some of uh, the um, uh, elements have got the uh, shortcut as well. So if you're very familiar with the Windows shortcut, you can still make use of them. And close, close all. The close is uh, uh, represented uh, by control uh, W or uh, close. This close doesn't mean that it will close the tech maker. It just closes the file, I mean the opened file. Uh, this is this close is pretty similar to uh, the functionality. Uh, if you see here, there's a cross mark, uh, so encircled, and that uh, represents the uh, close uh, of a page, I mean the uh, document. Um, it doesn't represent the close of a tech maker. But if you see the uh, top right hand corner, we have got the minimize button, the, max, the restore down or maximize button or close. This close represents the close uh, of the tech maker. So you can close the tech maker by clicking this or in the file underneath is called exit. So the uh, shortcut is control Q. Uh, LaTeX will give us a PDF output. Say for example, I'm, I'll compile this uh, sample document. So when I compile it, I'll get an output called hello world and I can close this. Uh, this is the output. So in the previous case, I've also told you you can perfect the output screen inside the tech maker as well. But I, I generally feel output uh, gets rendered outside than inbuilt inside the tech maker. Uh, but if you're very uh, comfortable with having the uh, output inbuilt within the tech maker, you can very well go ahead and incorporate that. I'm going to close this for a moment and uh, this is the uh, output this is generally in the PDF uh, that is what we have configured to so we'll get it in a PDF uh, in you know if you want to print the code uh, then probably you can uh, select all the uh, shortcut is control a uh, then you can go to print then you can use uh, your um, favorite uh, PDF uh, maker Say for example, in this case, I've used Adobe PDF. Uh, then I'm gonna print that particular thing. It will ask me to uh, specify the location. Say for example, I wanted to put that in uh, the LaTeX output as well. So I already have a file called sample, so it will overwrite. So I'm gonna change it to print. And I save this. Uh, it takes some time. Yeah, it's that's it. So the codes also gets printed very neatly. So in case you wanted to share uh, the code, uh, the LaTeX code with your friend, but your friend doesn't have the um, a tech maker or uh, any uh, ID, LaTeX ID, then you can give them in the form of a PDF. So they might understand much better. And uh, that, and another thing is called close, close all. If you have a multiple documents open, uh, then it gets closed. Uh, uh, in a one shot like close all will close everything like for example if you work on a book you might have got a different chapters uh, lining up in the uh, tech maker so you can uh, close them all at once by uh, clicking this close all 
then exit uh, this signifies the closure of the entire um, the um, tech maker supposing uh, if this document is saved so when I cl click exit the entire tech maker will go but if I make some changes and if this symbol uh, indicates that it's not get saved but if I accidentally close or uh, exit the tech maker it will pop up a dialog box stating that save and close or save without closing which means that will uh, retain the default one without the changes made in this document uh, in this case I'm going to give cancel because I'm not going to uh, do any uh, closing of tech makers so what I do is I'll just press ctrl s to save this and uh, the next is the edit this is very common uh, uh, terms like probably could have seen in any uh, word processing software uh, undo redo and so on so undo will be there for example I've uh, done editing of uh, this then if I do the undo then probably this will appear and I have to save this or uh, I can even press redo because that will go and you see I don't have to save this because it's already existing and copy cut paste select all remember when I did uh, print I've just pressed ctrl E which is the select all you can even come uh, to this edit uh, ribbon and you can still find out this select all in the drop down and comment is something uh, very interesting thing like for example um, uh, we'll be discussing more of the uh, comments in the uh, future section but as of now I don't have any preamble or packages in, involved in this particular uh, sample so if I go to edit and I put comment and say uh, this is a preamble so I'm gonna save this by control s and uh, when I uh, compile this you see uh, that doesn't gets incorporated so the comments are comments so it has a percentage symbol if supposing if I uh, want to uncomment this I can still go to edit and I can do it uncomment so that will throw an error so for example uh, if I make this you see it takes an error because this shouldn't be there in the preamble so uh, the shortcut for commenting is control T and when you do it again it doesn't uncomment it but it will makes the uh, ambassand I mean the percentage symbols to grow but no matter if you have uh, n number of percentage symbols the comment is the comment so if you see the color of the text it turns to be the gray color um, I'm gonna uncomment it by selecting all or you can uh, press the uh, windows shortcut let me press the windows shortcut of control u I select all uh, uh, in this case I'll just select only uh, this thing only the first thing uh, let's uh, uncomment only the uh, selected uh, content say for example if I select that content and I press ctrl u and only that gets uh, eliminated and if I can do multiple times only that gets eliminated but if I select everything and I press ctrl u but it's still the same functionality so you should be uh, careful enough to do the commenting and uncommenting uh, in your document the next is the uh, indent indent will make a paragraph to be intended uh, this is just a typical typography um, I mean uh, the typesetting uh, jargon so we can use this indent and unindent fold is a pretty uh, useful terms uh, in terms of uh, LaTeX documentation because when you when your code runs a longer page supposing you have got hundreds and hundreds of packages you don't have to necessarily uh, scroll down your documents to uh, edit a lot of stuff so instead of that you can group every uh, kind of uh, uh, every uh, codes uh, into uh, some some something like a cascading environment uh, so I'll explain you um, with an example so in this case I'm gonna delete this say for example I'm gonna use a package called uh, graphics um, we will be explaining a lot of these uh, in detail in the subsequent lectures but as of now uh, packages or uh, the extra elements or the, that adds much functionality to the uh, documents uh, then it's called pi font and then uh, I just use a package called uh, url so url so all these things uh, if I have a multiple so you see uh, when I have a lot of uh, packages you see the document the body goes down so I have to, every time I have to scroll down uh, it will be very cumbersome so there is a procedure called um, 
uh, what you call folding this so I'll just select all these things and I go to to uh, edit and then there's something called fold or the control the open bracket I'm scope open square bracket as a shortcut so when I do that you see it automatically gets merged or uh, goes within the uh, some uh, major head so if I click and you see the code uh, the line number is 1 and 6 it's not 2 3 4 5 is missing so when I click that this is a plus symbol which means that's get inside when I uh, click that you'll get a minus symbol which means that this all of them gets folded within that I'm gonna close this for a moment um, for, for example I'm gonna select this uh, I, I, I don't have to unfold it because um, folding is what we require so unfolding you can do it either for example if I fold it and I can still select this and I can do an unfold so everything gets unfolded or when I fold it, it I don't have to really unfold it because uh, I press this and this gets automatically becomes unfold so um, or you can even press this to fold it again and unfold it again so it just uh, doesn't make so much sense if you unfold it and the next is called um, fold all if you have a multiple uh, sections or parts or chapters in your long documents you can do that the functionality is fairly the same as fold and unfold is unfold all is pretty similar to unfold and find this is something uh, an important thing that you should know because if you have a multiple documents uh, or a multiple um, or a document that runs many uh, lines of code then it should be uh, very important to know to which location or which um, place you have got uh, the uh, items uh, listed or items uh, present so that's one important thing and find next is also very similar uh, this will open up a dialog box called find supposing if I wanted to find a word called w o or l d world it will find and it says it's here supposing if I put a, a small w and I say find it still finds but when I just uh, did it so which means that it is not case sensitive but uh, if you type in call case sensitive then if you find then you will not find it any document it doesn't you see it's not highlighting it so it is always advisable uh, to remove this and you can do it by forward and backward and uh, you can even uh, did it, do it from the beginning so if you have a, a lot of uh, lines running through you can start from the beginning this is actually in wise or the uh, it's actually a default but it's also a good uh, thing that it should be marked on and uh, for example if it's a whole word only it doesn't uh, for example if we have a hello world joined together it doesn't forms that particular thing it will search only world which is all, which all are present individually and you can even run uh, I mean you can uh, incorporate regular expression and in selection only so uh, all these things we will cover much detail in the subsequent lectures but as of now understand uh, um, defined is to find the uh, text or any items in your document I'm gonna close this so you can even press ctrl F to um, uh, open it again and uh, if you have done a prior search then that particular word will be a default word uh, when you open up the uh, control F so I'm gonna close this I mean uh, delete this and I close this when I press control F you see nothing happens so it's always to clean uh, your searches before you close them uh, then it is uh, find in a directory it is just like the um, grammar if you want to find uh, or anything like uh, any uh, annotations something you can still find using uh, from this directory uh, then it's called replace supposing you want to replace uh, something you can use it with this is very similar to F control F or the find uh, it is uh, has got um, find then replace you can replace it all at once or if you wanted to replace individually then you can still replace them I'm gonna close this uh, there's a separate lecture we are planned to uh, give some insights on the find and replace because that will be a very handy tool if you have got a lot of documents say for example if you're working uh, on your thesis in latex then uh, probably a lot of things that has to be uh, iterated for example 
uh, your supervisor says like uh, you should use ambassand so represent that by and then it will be very cumbersome if you search individual ambassands and replies but uh, if you have that uh, replies and find options that will become a very handy tool during that particular point of time uh, then some more is like uh, go to line so you can even jump into the lines and uh, 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 this is the very important uh, advantage of tech maker you can even uh, check the spelling but the default spelling uh, I mean the default language will be American English in case you choose English language for your uh, tech maker so the colors and color in uh, American and color in uh, occurs so. um, then uh, refresh structure and this is all uh, kind of a very important thing that we will uh, discuss in detail when we do a long documentation and refresh bibliography and so on and the tools i uh, remember like the cooked world is what we use to compile the document and this is the latex and uh, view dvi and view di dvi to ps script and the pdf latex and this all the uh, shortcuts uh, in case you're making an index for your books, then the shortcut is F2 all. Uh, M post is the meta post, asymptote, and all these things are uh, for uh, vector graphics. Uh, that also you can you can convert your LaTeX environment into asymptote environment. Uh, environment, what I mean by is the uh, typesetting area, the typesetting structure. Uh, you can still use LaTeX, uh, the tech maker itself, to do a lot of uh, graphics things as well. And the clean is something like uh, deleting the output. For example, I'm just going to class uh, cancel this at this point of time. So I'll just open the LaTeX output. You, you see, it has got a lot of uh, outputs. So for example, sample.aux and sample tech, uh, text file. And this is a text file. And this is a WinRAR uh, archive file. Uh, supposing everyone only sample uh, tech and sample PDF, I can close this for a moment and I can go to uh, edit uh, sorry tool then I can do a clean when I see delete files and when I open the output you see only the sample tech file and sample PDF file is available I'm gonna close this for a moment but it doesn't mix uh, any delete of the uh, the tech file or the PDF output file uh, then it's uh, open terminal in case you are very interested in uh, doing a tech maker I mean uh, creating a LaTeX in tech maker via the uh, terminals you can select this and this is something called uh, export the tech to HTML or any uh, related stuff you can convert it into HTML then open document format and math MO so this is an interesting thing that uh, you should note uh, before the conversion and uh, if you're very familiar with HTML and CSS and probably you can take the LaTeX code and convert it to the HTML format and you can even convert it to Unicode this is kind of a very important thing uh, one of the reasons uh, LaTeX is used for a lot of languages uh, say for example foreign languages such as German um, Arabic Chinese is that it can convert that to a Unicode so if you're very uh, interested in Unicode you can try converting them to converting your tech document I mean LaTeX document into Unicode and uh, this is a very very important thing so this is the unique uh, features in the uh, LaTeX uh, in fact tech maker is very very useful if you have this because if you work in a text work you may not um, uh, get uh, you should remember all these things but in uh, if you work in tech maker and if you're a beginner this will be of great help so I'm gonna close this for a moment and I'm gonna go to tech maker I mean uh, I'm gonna go to a uh, ribbon underneath uh, 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 underneath the LaTeX uh, uh, ribbon uh, menu uh, I'm just gonna click con uh, document class you see it automatically completes say the default is 10 points but uh, this thing is our input this uh, full stop or this symbol represents that I have to incorporate what type of class file this uh, you don't have to worry about these things uh, now but we will be discussing that everything in LaTeX in very detail so that that is what I can tell you at this point of time and the next line I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to use a package say for example I'm going to use AMS math packages so you see it, it all comes AMS math fonts and symbols these are called packages 
that is used to uh, compile a document with a lot of mathematical equations and so on and I say begin document when I say begin document it also completes it it's called autocomplete and uh, this is the body of the uh, LaTeX so I'm gonna type in call sample and uh, the class file I'm gonna use is called articles so you don't have to worry about right now so I'm gonna press control s to save this and I compile it you see I've got it so I've changed the hello world to sample and this is my documentation and those are the different structures you can type in the author title and make title table of content sections part is for the book uh, and chapters also for the book for that the other things like uh, the reports and all you can probably uh, use a section subsection this is the uh, levels of the uh, sections in your uh, documents we will be discussing all these things in detail and environment for example if you want to create a centered uh, environment which means that will put the document I mean the content in centered then you can type in quotations or quotes then verbatim is to print the codes uh, I mean uh, the LaTeX code itself gets printed or any uh, computer programming gets printed or whatever you type in between begin verbatim and end verbatim that gets printed as such uh, even if you put a LaTeX command that gets printed as like uh, text and you can uh, create a table using this environment you can incorporate figures then title page mini page uh, we'll be discussing a lot of these things in much detail in the up subsequent lectures but as of now understand this and it's got a list environment it's got begin item as is to uh, list down the items in a bullet points or the anything that gets laid down with a symbol or bullets or numbers so enumerators for the numbering uh, numbered list and description list and items and so on and uh, next is called font size like uh, styles I'm sorry yeah it's like slanted bold face uh, in one lecture like in a font attributes I uh, will be explaining this in much detail so as of now understand font styles of varied like italics fonts bold face font and typewriter font is basically a courier output uh, the output will be in a form in the uh, courier font or a typewriter or teletype is basically called and small caps and sheriff uh, the basic uh, uh, default uh, um, output will be in a serif font or called a roman font and you can make them sans serif as well and this is a tabular environment you can even uh, make a tabbing uh, tabbing uh, we'll discuss all these things in much detail like uh, H line talks about horizontal line, V line is vertical line, C line is a particular cell it gets uh, underlined. Uh, spacing, uh, how do you create a new page, how do you break the line or paragraph line and how do you skip, uh, I mean I mean this all these things we'll be discussing in much detail and international accents if you work uh, uh, with the, the German um, names or uh, German text itself you can probably make use of these things uh, international codes like if you use French codes or German codes or Polish codes so probably can make use of this particular thing and include graphics is where we use uh, our uh, images like we'll use this command to bring down our images or embed our images from an external source to the LaTeX document and that gets printed in the output so include file is also that if you have a multiple files you can include them in a single main file so uh, during a thesis writing or during a book uh, writing in LaTeX so we'll be discussing that in much detail so input file is also the same so we'll be dealing with a lot of these things when we write the higher documents like books thesis or whatever then a label is to call is for cross-referencing and cite is to uh, bring down the uh, citations or to generate the citations from the bibliography and footnote is to give the footnote uh, elements in your document and bibliographic style it's the style file say for example Chicago style AP, uh, APA style and so on so that gets uh, incorporated using this uh, command and uh, uh, bibliography and bibliography resources is very important uh, this uh, is an important elements like we'll uh, spend a lot of time in this uh, when we do bibliography the next is the uh, math environment so inline uh, equ equations or inline math text will use this particular uh, element or you can even press the uh, um, uh, shortcut called control shift m the other things are fairly the same 
and uh, this is a math functions uh, uh, this is a math of font style say math rm math it will uh, print math rm will print uh, the equations in math uh, math roman i mean roman font uh, in uh, for mathematics uh, or equations and so on and math accents also say for example if you have a tilde if you have a bar if you have a hat symbol then uh, slash hat within this bracket anything you put in that has got the cap and the math space like you can give small medium large we'll talk about font spaces in detail uh, when we uh, do a lot of uh, mathematical uh, equations and so on the next is the wizard so this is uh, i'll just close this uh, particular uh, document for a moment i'm going to close something uh, new uh, then i'll go to wizard uh, this is the uh, very important tool for beginners uh, in case uh, you forget the code or the uh, layout or the syntax of the latex so probably you don't have to worry about uh, that uh, you can start using this wizard say for example quick start and i click the quick start uh, it asks me for the class file say for example it has got article report letter book beamer beamer is for the uh, presentation uh, if you see most of my uh, presentation uh, in this MOOC course is based on is done using uh, beamer uh, for this case i'm going to take uh, article and uh, it has got the options called landscape draft uh, one page one column two column title page and uh, equation numbering and so on so i'm gonna uh, not gonna select anything i'm gonna leave it as it or i can even select class or i can even uh, uh, type in the new one say for example 12 point is generally used uh, and just click ok so that gets added here so I'm gonna take that uh, this is oh the so here you can see the 12 points so it's not necessary uh, there um, that's something like or I can add something called a4 paper uh, I'm gonna click OK then I just add a4 then I the default is 10 point I'm gonna make it 12 point oh here is the paper so I don't have to really add anything here because everything is here encoding uh, I just leave it with the uh, UTF-8 something like that the author uh, myself uh, I'm gonna give that file called sample file and uh, i think we i use only english so I'll just just check with english and uh, ms package required geometry is required uh graphics is, if i include uh, images then uh, graphics is required i think this is fairly okay so when i click okay you see i don't have to really type in anything so it gets automatically updated you see i've just typed in a4 twice so it just built a4 then if i wanted to do uh, change this particular thing you can still do it i don't want geometry one centimeter left i two centimeter left i want one centimeter i can still do it so this is fairly simple so i can save this file as um, demo uh, but actually i have not put any content in here like say for example demonstration is what i say uh, and i just click i can press ctrl s in my keyboard and i save them then I quick build this. Yes, it gets saved without it gets saved and compiled without any error, and that is the importance of the uh, wizard and quick build. So same way you can uh, type in the Beamer, uh, the presentation. Uh, it has got the Varsha is what I use, uh, but there are a lot of other uh, things like, for example, Singapore. This format and uh, and a bar is this yellow color and something like if you are very interested in this you can still uh, create that so for example i'm going to close this um wizard i'm going to click beamer say varsa and uh, instead of varsa i'm just taking an bar and uh, i just say title is uh, beamer something like that then i just click ok then it gets begin frame end frame uh, just close this for a moment. I don't need them right now. So this is the syntax of the Beamer. I'll save this as a demo itself, and I quickly run through uh, the Beamer. It takes some time. 
generally beamers takes uh, a lot of time because uh, it has to compile a lot of things um, I hope it will compile soon yeah it's just, you see today's date automatically appear it's called beamer and uh, slide number one of one so this is something like you can use it for presentation so the syntax of this beamer is a little different from the optical so we'll discuss that when we do beamer uh, I generally love Beamer. So if you see uh, my from my introduction uh, lecture, I've been using Beamer for the presentation. And uh, wizard, quick wizard, we'll go to quick wizard and Z uh, LaTeX is also fairly simple. You can still uh, type in the quick collector, then table or environment, tabbing array, array is for the equation uh, where you can type set in multiple line equations or in something so on. And we'll be discussing all those things in much detail. So I think uh, it takes a lot of time uh, to explain each and every one of this. And the length of this lecture might go really high. So for want of time, I'm not going to describing, but we will be discussing each and every one of this. The next is a bibliography, which is of the two types. It's called BibTeX and BibLatex, and uh, fairly the same and uh, we'll be doing uh, bibliography in much detail because bibliography is one of the important element in any academic or scientific document so if you write a book thesis or a journal article or a conference proceedings or reports or whatever this bibliography is highly essential uh, do not confuse the bibliography is only for the book it's not for any other purpose in latex bibliography meant uh, meant uh, is for references as well so do not neglect that a bibliography is only for book uh, um, it's not used for any other types of uh, LaTeX document but uh, bibliography is a name common name given uh, to the referencing and we'll do much detail uh, in the subsequent lectures but as of now bibliography is of two types in BibTeX and Bib LaTeX uh, we can even try uh, generating a bibliography using bib item so just like can uh, itemize or a list item uh, environment uh, we can even still create it uh, but I'll tell you the disadvantage of those or uh, it is it is quite cumbersome because it needs a lot of work uh, it doesn't serve the purpose of uh, doing a bibliography in a LaTeX so LaTeX has got its own code but the advantage of LaTeX I'll tell you when we uh, do a research paper writing or writing a book I mean the referencing for a book the next is called user uh, it's actually a um, customized command you can type in your own command for example shift f1 to f10 or not taken for any command or a pre built command so you can uh, edit using your own for example if you can create uh, the particular uh, content and if you put that particular latex command and you can provide your um, uh, shortcut to it so which means that will be your command so this is one of the uh, important advantage of uh, tech maker because you can customize your own command and uh, you can even um, not only uh, the uh, the um, latex uh, document uh, elements this can also provide a command user command you can even provide your own command uh, say for example um, I wanted to uh, for example shortcut is not available for save us so you can predefine that using your own command with this alt shift something like that from this available thing uh, but make sure that it doesn't um, clash with the existing uh, um, existing shortcuts so you cannot take f11 for something else or shift uh, control shift f7 something like that so you cannot uh, really take the pre-built um, thing and uh, something like you can even uh, do a, a customized complete for example in this case a begin frame end frame begin document end documents or auto complete so you can even uh, state something called begin my environment and end my environment uh, that is not predefined in LaTeX but you can still uh, use it and this is a run scripts in case uh, this you want to type in the packages or something like that then you can use the uh, run script and this is basically uh, um, based on the JavaScript language uh, I heard uh, people doing it with Python as well but I'm not pretty sure that's gonna be a possible in TechMaker but as of now uh, if you know JavaScript 
I think uh, one particular element called adding a calendar to a LaTeX document people have generated a tech uh, um, uh, comments uh, comments with uh, JavaScript uh, codes then it's called view uh, this is something a very important thing that you should know uh, initially um, it has got a structure message log only message log is uh, checked on to find out the whether the uh, output is successful or uh, not successful uh, or any changes you made and it gets populated this is basically the uh, Okay, so as, uh, I'll just close this for a moment. So when this is, uh, it doesn't look activated. When I click, only it gets activated. Initially, it's, it doesn't show anything. Um, so for example, if I press the structure, it will open up. In case if you have a book, it will just list down the uh, elements here. For example, the chapter one, chapter two, all these things will be in this uh, uh, structure. You can, um, you can close it by clicking here and the message log is the output uh, thing and source viewer is something like I told you you can provide it here uh, the bifurcation of the code as well as the output and uh, you can still select them if I select all of these my workspaces will be uh, reduced uh, if you work in a bigger uh, computer then I mean monitor uh, then it comes in handy when I click that this gets activated but I don't want structure for this thing and this gets off then I'm not gonna need a source viewer so that gets off so which means that only the message or log gets selected so this and this is fairly the same so you can use any of this sometimes people wanted to do it with a full screen so we might try this when we have a big lines of code uh, the reason is that in this video if you see um, I'm just making uh, that in uh, this particular space and this taskbar, uh, this nugget I'm used to record this particular thing and uh, I've got uh, the uh, speaker and this particular dates popping up but if I don't want it to show all those things I only focus on the tech maker then I can put it in full screen it will automatically uh, brings in but if you see the close button is not uh, there or the minimize is not there so you can press an escape from your uh, um, keyboard I mean um, thing um, or you can even uh, get this uh, by view full screen off it will just move back to the original position uh, then is called the file toolbar which is the uh, this file toolbar which is the uh, shortcut or something like that uh, that gets vanished now so I'm gonna need that you see this gets back then same way edit toolbars and uh, this is very important it's called tool toolbars which is without this uh, it is really fairly difficult so I'm gonna take that as a moment and options uh, we have done enough uh, details on configuring tech makers so we won't be doing much of that and uh, the language I'm gonna use is called English so if you have uh, if you are very familiar with other languages uh, France is FR so you can find uh, search from this uh, particular elements uh, then setting you can reset the configurations you made early or you can save that settings in case you do multiple uh, if you work on multiple systems then you can take up that particular settings and store it in the particular uh, systems you intended to work on other than your uh, parent system then uh, this is uh, replacing by new one and this is something like uh, not uh, much uh, importance but it has got uh, much importance when you work on the multiple uh, documents or multiple computers and the most important uh, is the help file and uh, before we get into the help file we'll just take a quick look at these things so this is also fairly the same like creating the part and this is the uh, pretty much the uh, uh, what do you call the already dealt stuff uh, from the edit and tool uh, uh, tools and LaTeX and everything like uh, important steps gets put in here and for example in a math mode we have got an inline equations or math modes this symbol you can even type in by uh, clicking this particular uh, element this is a subscript and superscript and uh, this is a symbols a fraction symbols and this is the um, the enumerators and denominators and this is the uh, square roots and so on so only very few uh, um, important things are required this is a new line so making it a new line or something like that and now it's a help file 
and uh, so far um, uh, uh, we've been uh, understanding LaTeX from varieties of sources but help file help a ribbon is very important if you're a very beginner and uh, to do that like I'm just gonna click about tech maker so I just say 5.03 and compiled with qt 5.9.6 uh, and copyrighted uh, 23 to uh, 2018 by pascal brashard so this is the uh, page and authors and uh, thanks given to a lot of people who have contributed uh, to this uh, uh, tech maker then license is gnu general public like this is what i told you you can share the uh, um, uh, tech maker uh, software because it comes under GNU or a free uh, and open source it just makes sure that like free software foundation so everyone is permitted to copy and distribute verbatim copies of this license document but changing it it does not allow. I mean you cannot change the code of the tech maker but you can make use of those uh, and you can read when you're free I'm gonna close this for a moment and I'm gonna go for a check for update. So um, uh, this is something like very important. Uh, uh, if you run a tech maker, I mean, if you run a older tech maker, in fact, uh, this is actually an older tech maker. I mean, the current version is 5.0.4, but I just have got 5.0.3. I can um, look for the new versions and I can update them and I can go to that particular download page. I can uh, uninstall this tech maker and I can download them. An installation of TechMaker I've uh, dealt in the previous lecture and uh, you can make use of that to uninstall and uh, I mean uh, install the uh, current version or the updated version. I'm going to close this for a moment and I'm going to go to help and this is the important thing. So LaTeX reference, supposing uh, I have a doubt so I'll just open this. Uh, uh, for a beginners, I recommend you to study this sequentially. Like, what is the font styles there, and uh, what are the different options uh, there, and probably the different codes there, and how do you make an equation environment, enumerate environment, and how do you make a title, and all these things. Like, whatever we do uh, in this uh, MOOC course. Everything is just covered in this particular thing. So this is a comprehensive document, so we can make use of uh, uh, this when you uh, understand uh, LaTeX or when you practice LaTeX. And uh, the next is called the user manual, and is particularly the same or very sim similar to that. Uh, it has got uh, the uh, what do you call? Um, for example, this is what I told you. Uh, you can create your own environment called my environment. So this will be your my environment and um, something like um, if you want to know a shortcut or this is just a uh, reference manual or a user manual and this is a tech document selection supposing I, I have a doubt say for example uh, I wanted to know what this uh, multi row means then I click multi row uh, type in multi row and I click OK uh, it will take me uh, to a page um, it's actually in Polish, so probably I can translate it to English. Yeah, so uh, this document will uh, give me and how you can make a multi row a multi row in a table. Uh, don't worry as of now, so probably um, you can um, understand this in much better when we do table or environment or table environment. I'm gonna close this for a moment. And the next is called uh, the um, LaTeX uh, wiki book. Uh, just like Wikipedia, we have got a uh, Wikipedia page for, I mean, wiki books for um, uh, LaTeX. So when which you can uh, find a lot of details uh, about this and you can even take a PDF version of that particular content. Everything gets, uh, it takes quite a long time to uh, download. So I think I've downloaded that in the, uh, downloads folder yeah here it is this is the document and uh, it's just something around 748 pages um, you can learn a lot of these uh, it is actually a comprehensive uh, book that has got almost uh, everything and uh, in fact uh, I recommend you to read uh, this particular book uh, from wrapper to wrapper so 
if you read that then uh, this particular course would be very easy for you and it's not only easy uh, make this course easier but also your basic uh, um, understanding of lactic will generally gets improved and uh, the next is the uh, I think uh, I've covered enough uh, about the tech maker and um, probably um, if you if you can even give a bookmark so you can even jump into the different bookmarks um, uh, I think I've just finally covered almost everything in a holistic view so I hope you really enjoyed uh, I, I understand this is a little bigger lecture when compared to other lectures but uh, I wanted to make everything in a single uh, file so in single video so you don't have to take multiple videos to understand TechMaker uh, this is an overview of a tech maker. I hope I've covered almost everything uh, you need to know to uh, typeset uh, LaTeX document in tech maker. And I uh, thoroughly enjoyed uh, teaching you this. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening.